Yeah. Okay, well, you mentioned talking to to Jesus there, and I, that if that would probably be the first question for you that I had is what what's it like meeting Jesus? You know, what what's he like? Can you can you put that into words? Uh, do you want to bring us a little bit back to that that part of your experience? Yeah, I want to I want to highlight a few things. First and most important is that his love for us is beyond any experience of love that we've ever had in our life. So I'm, I'm even reluctant to use the word love, but I, I, I'm not going to make up a word, you know. Um, his, his love is like our, our falling in love, that, you know, kind of like over-the-top over crazy love, that where we fall in love magnified by many, many times, wow. the love that he, he expresses towards us. Secondly, and this is something that I think is really important that isn't talked about. He likes us. He made us. Yeah. He likes us. He made, he made our nose, our eyes, our mind, our bodies. He, made, he put us in the life situation they're in. He thinks we are the most adorable things in the world. Um, <laughs> I'm a grandparent by many times. And the only thing I can compare it to is like how um, we just love our grandchildren unconditionally and they can do a road no wrong. Ah, they broke the precious China. Who cares? We'll get another one. You yeah. know, it's not important. Right. You know, and also we want, what do we want for our grandchildren? We want, we just want them to um, live well, to be good people, you know, mm -hmm. and hopefully uh, fulfill whatever potential they have in life. That's, that's what we want for our grandkids, you know, and that's what Jesus wants for us. That's why he doesn't want us to do stupid, bad things. Because those uh, are destructive. Yeah. And, and, and one more thing I want to point out is that Jesus has the best sense of humor in the whole world. And the reason why I know this is for a fact is because he thinks I'm funny. <laughs> there we go. And he, my he wife recognizes. doesn't think I'm very funny. Matter of fact, you know, a lot of times she thinks my jokes are terrible. Because uh, you know, I, I, like I like to say silly things. You know, I, I think it's amusing. And yeah. Jesus thinks I'm amusing. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> therefore, he must have the greatest sense of humor in the world. Yeah. Well, you can always say, "Oh, that one killed with Jesus." I don't, I don't know about yeah. you guys, but <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. That that's that's awesome, and that's very very different than the picture that some people have tried to paint of um, you know an authoritative figure who is is angry with you when you don't live up to standards. Yeah, and that's a terrible corruption mm -hmm. because um, you know one of the reasons why I think I can support. My understanding of Jesus is that if you just step back and look at the gospel records, you know, he's, he's mobbed all the time. He's, you know, he's constantly trying to get away from these mobs. Now, he was mobbed because he could heal people and there was no medicine as we know it in his day. So that was one reason why he was mobbed. Um, another reason why he was mobbed was that he had, um, he had wisdom and charisma that like just astounded people. But there's another reason why he was mobbed that people neglect to think about, because he was so beguiling, so charming, so winsome. Mm. You know, he was not a person to be terrified of or to be afraid of. He, you know, he actually told jokes. Um, I had a um, in my uh, New Testament class in seminary. You know, they were trying to explain some of his things are actually in the cultural context quite funny. Yeah, he used hyperbole a lot. Which is like, I've told you this a million times. What's the matter with you? You're not listening. You know, right. I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, that's the kind of, that's the way he talked. You know, idiomatic, you know, um, Aramaic first century, you know? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't always translate unless you know what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. 